Greetings, I'm Caffeine Rage, and well, it's time to reset RimWorld and go again after a rather painful loss in Oakview. So, new colony time. This is going to be fun. Once again, we're going to do the modified version of Crash Landed, just adding a little bit of ammo so it's not, you know, overly difficult, because uh, combat realism already is making things fun. Yes, I am still in Alpha 14, and... I have added a couple more things to the mod list, not a lot. The big thing is hospitality, just to have things a little bit interesting. So let's go ahead and just randomize a little bit. That, uh, last, that one was a little too real, so and we'll make the world a little bit bigger. Turn up. Let's generate. Okay, so. Um... See, that is Boreal Forest. Ooh, that is cold, cold, cold. First of summer to the 11th of summer, so practically no. Yeah. And yeah, practically no growing season in the Boreal Forest, and I'm not sure if we're ready for that yet. <laughs> right, let's try to survive a melee squad before, you know, we go too deep in. So I want a actually cold uh, uh, winter just to have you know, a little bit of more interesting time. And I want to try to go large hills. And this actually is looking pretty good. What, do I have any... I don't have anything nearby. There's a... Acrobax town, an uh, outlander uh, town there. I'm not sure if these really impact anything yet. I do know Alpha 16, it looks like, you know, you're going to be able to raid or send caravans over, so. Let's see. Small hills, there was a... Yeah, I knew I should have just... Okay, I don't want mountains, because that's a little too much. Okay, large hills. Love the spring to the... That's a little too cold. Let's try going a little bit further south. Should have kept that one uh, that we found. Oh, okay, large hills. Still a little on the cold side. Uh, actually, you know, that that's probably going to be fine. Average temperature in winters, uh, 18 degrees. So we do want to make a hot house at some point. It's going to be large hills, so we'll have an outdoor uh, settlement. I think we're good here. And it is a... Um, a temperate forest, so we should have plenty of animals. So let's select the site and start randomizing because oh, this guy's crap, that one's crap. This one's incapable of fire fighting, but pyromaniac is a little bit troublesome, and he's also a little bit on the old side. So yeah, we're going to be. This one's tempting. We'll see what we get on the other ones first. Let's see, incapable of scary, so can't firefight. Don't want to keep him with a firefight, uh, with uh, a pyromaniac. But the pyromaniac is... <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let, let's focus on getting a good researcher first, because, yeah. A, a six isn't bad, but we need something better, especially with combat realism. Oh, that's terrible. Uh, cultist... That, that's tempting. Born leader, so a better social, which... Uh, decent researching. Uh, oh. No, no, no. We need someone good at fighting as well. Too smart? No. Ugh, incapable of intellectual... Uh, wow, look at this. He has cancer on his left arm. He's for, uh, yeah, that, that one's no good. Yeah, the first episode's always just re-rolling a lot of people. Hello. Okay, so. I think we may have our first guy. He's incapable of dumb labor, but this is going to be a researcher, so that's not as huge a deal uh, as it otherwise would be. We'll have him uh, probably on mining duty uh, otherwise, but yeah. Chemical interest, so... Uh, has an unusual interest in uh, sources of uh, chemical enjoyment. 
uh, she will consume them more and it's likely more likely to go on binges. So that's our downside. But she's also a hard worker and heat tolerant, which could be a little bit troublesome because we're in a colder area, but that should uh, do nicely. So our first uh, victim is, and let me get the list where I could actually read it and talk into the microphone at the same time, is Lithobreaker. Ah, shit. Okay, Litho. Yeah, that's the trouble with uh, limited uh, characters. So, Litho is going to be our researcher. We need uh, a couple more now. Incapable of social or caring. We want someone that's good at social. Which, this is decent. Uh, our researcher's decent at it, so it may not be that big a deal. So, randomize, incapable of social, psychopath. No empathy whatsoever, and trigger happy, and but incapable, social, but no really good skills. No. Hello. Medical savant. I think we may have our second person. Psychically dull, which is excellent. Only problem is that they're a touch on the old side. So they're frail, which affects moving and manipulation. Really good, at my, really good at a lot of things, actually. Not great at shooting, unfortunately. Good at melee. Uh, good social, good with animals, good medicine, good mining. Decent backup researcher, masochist. Uh, there's something exciting about getting hurt. Uh, she doesn't know why, she's just wired differently. So, yeah. <laughs> Gets happy when getting hurt. Medical savant uh, to heal. Psychically dull, incapable of nothing. We have our second person, and our second person is Supe. So yeah, Supe is a masochist, sixty-three-year-old uh, female. <laughs> yeah. Okay, our third uh, victim. Let's see, we could probably yeah, we definitely need a grower. Cook, uh, with somebody that's decent at cooking would be a good bonus so yeah this is tempting to keep but that pyromaniac is uh, makes me leery Ooh, yeah that's a no-go yeah look at model we'd never want to see a model a couple of doctoring cooking construction repairing growing mining plant cutting smithing tailoring crafting hauling cleaning researching and managing basically only good for fighting and social a little bit of animals. Oh, and art. So yeah, randomize again. Capable of dumb labor. We want someone that's able to do dumb labor. No. Capable of scary. That's uh, nervous. Middle break threshold up. Eh. Good cooking and no good growing though. I could always just install the uh, prepare carefully mod, but that doesn't seem uh, as fun as just you know, making do with uh, you know, what we can find. Plus, we always get the interesting ones. Okay, rookie. So, we don't really have anyone that's particularly good at shooting. And slow poke is troublesome. Decent at growing. Okay at cooking. Only problem is that slow poke, which... No, no, we we can't have uh, someone that terrible at the start. Hello. Okay, you have a bite scar on your torso. You have a green thumb, but you're nervous, which increases your mental break threshold a bit. You're crap at uh, fighting in general, but you can fight. Yeah, the fact that I don't have anything, anyone particularly good at uh, fighting is troublesome. Really good at an with animals, good at growing, uh, good at uh, decent at cooking. I mean, not amazing, but, you know, good enough, I guess. A passion for research. I think we have our third uh, victim. And our third victim is... Let's see if I can fit this name on here. Tim Neal. 
Oh, barely. Yeah, an acquaintance of mine, and I'm not sure if he's watching these, but he does seem to enjoy Space Marine, so. Let's see. And he's a music lover, so that brings a social... Uh, you would think that brings a, would bring a social up a bit, but eh. So, yeah. Okay, so I'll see you on the other side of the loading screen because my recording software doesn't like this loading screen for some reason. I'll see you there. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, uh, we'll go ahead and just wait for everyone to land, and then we'll take a look around. And we got a cat again. We'll see how long that cat remains unmauled. And we may have our starting area already. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just looking around. Oh, let's go ahead and unforbid that. And we have some deer there. A megatherum there. Ooh, a muffalo uh, herd on the edge of the map. Hopefully that'll wander more inland. A boom rat there. So yeah, I'm thinking uh we'll build here get knocked down i mean this building is completely worthless and this wall's worthless the question is how do we want to set up our defenses we go across here and uh wall off here and use this natural choke point build a, another wall here and force them down here that's probably the best route and set up the uh, colony so that if someone saps the wall, which we haven't actually encountered yet uh, we'll be able to fight them off that seems like a really good idea and it does give us some room to toy around with and also if we mine out this uh, hill which uh, says uh, thin rock uh, roof there so that gives us plasteel there. Come back to machinery there. I don't actually see a sealed off uh, ancient danger. Which is all right by me. Unfortunately, we never got to pop that one on the last map, but... Oh, no, 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 no. Looks like they, we may have one here. So, yeah, we may have some fun nonetheless. So, yeah, we'll have to uh, wall off here. 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 And here. And I uh, probably want to eventually get this done. So let's go ahead and just look around for our stuff. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the uh, unforbid everything uh, mod working with my current setup. But that may just be because it's an alpha 15 mod and I'm on alpha 14 still. So let's, uh, yeah, let's just look around. We got a couple steam geysers there. Unfortunately, we have none in our perspective area we do have one to the south which we could possibly extend to at some point but we haven't really needed it just because of uh, the mods we're running it makes it so that uh what we have uh power wise we could uh, get away with a lot less uh power generation and plus we also don't run uh, a lot of uh turrets as a matter of fact i don't think we've ever run a on a turret yet okay so I'm pretty sure our guys, just in general, it doesn't really matter who we give what. Yeah. Equip. And equip. And equip. And go ahead and unforbid all these as well. I'll use this as temporary storage just for the uh, packed travel meals and the medicine. Just to get them together. That's the manager. We're not working on that yet. Yeah, the beginning of the colony is out. Oh, oh, didn't mean to do that. We want... Well, we do have a decent secondary doctor, so we'll keep you there. Bed rest. Go ahead and turn that up. Negotiate. We'll go ahead and uh, focus on Supe doing that, along with uh, 
Well, well let's figure this out. We want... Uh, we don't really have a uh, dedicated cook yet. We'll figure that out in a bit. We'll turn off hunting for now. We'll let Tim work on construction. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn on for soup bay as well. Everyone uh, works on uh, repair work. Growing, we'll have uh, Tim work on that as well, high priority. Mining, secondary priority for both him and Supe, even though there's not going to be a ton of mining here. We have uh, possibilities of here and here, really. But I don't think we're going to be mining out nearly as much. Which this is going to be more wood and, uh, well, we could get the quarry up and running. We never did use that mod yet. Plant cutting. That's going to be a uh, high priority here as well, especially in the beginning. Because I'll want to get this area cleared out because this is going to be our kill area. Uh, Tim is really our uh, MVP for this right now, isn't he? Let's see. Uh, how do we want to handle this? Uh, we could always have Supe be Hall Bitch for now because there's not a ton outside of researching. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, construction and repair. Research is number one for Litho. Let's go ahead and turn off all the crafting for now. We'll settle that later. We'll go ahead and set plant cutting for both him and Supe. But first things first, we need uh, production. We need our simple research bench, and we'll just plop it right here in the corner. With furniture, a simple wooden chair, because yeah, our researcher is going to be sitting there for a bit. Oh, he took. Unforbid that, and what I'm also going to do is this indoors or out? This is out of doors, but I can. We're going to eventually get rid of this. But I want to build a roof area. Unfortunately, this isn't big enough for a temporary bedroom, but I'm going to do a stockpile here. Clear all, allow fresh. I want I could survival meals and medicine to be brought here. Okay, and we unpause. On oh, also before it wanders off, restrict the cat to the home zone. And we'll expand the home zone a little bit. Uh, so the cat could wander and uh, get bed. Put the cat on uh, some squirrels. Okay. So we're getting this built and uh, ready to go. Litho's just kind of hanging around waiting for his uh, workstation to get built. And of course, uh, we are going to rush uh, machining right away. Oh, and also we should go ahead and for now It was uh, Litho that was... Yeah, Litho... Uh, oh, we need to set our research, of course. Ah, research. Machining right away. So, there you go. Oh, I almost forgot. I need to have you pick up those rounds. And... When Soup Bay is done... Uh, he'll grab the other rounds. Oh. What the hell are you working on? Is it the fact that Litho's in the way? Or are you just sick? That's weird. It's taking a lot longer than usual. 
Okay. He's done. We've got our meals getting all uh, collected. We'll go ahead and deconstruct that. And I'm going to do structure, wall, wooden wall. I kind of want to just build out of this right now. I'm going to do smaller bedrooms just to try to get this done quicker. And if this turns into a problem, I could expand them later. And plus it is also absolute, absolutely perfect. Uh, work right there. And we'll do doors here and eventually build a hallway and a secondary uh, set. And we'll go ahead and oh, oh, um, pause and claim that. So it'll be worked on. Tim's uh, still collecting things. Okay, we need some furniture as well. Uh, guest bed, that is a new thing, by the way. We'll be working on this, uh, with this a little bit later. But we need to get our colonist up and running. And I also want to put an end table with a light. Yeah, we'll go ahead and make this look a little prettier. Waste a little bit of wood and some... No, we won't do that just yet, but... It is going to be on the agenda. Let's see, let those uh, stay out of trouble. We're getting deconstruction on these parts right now. That's what people are working on. And now we're seeing work on this, I believe. No, they're eating first. We should actually uh, get our farms up and running as well. So while they work on that, we'll go ahead and do that. Growing area. Now we're going to have to go a bit bigger in our growing areas just because of ho the hospitality mod. Because it, it's a double-edged sword, really. It makes some things easier, but it also makes some things harder. We'll go into that a little bit later, but I want to just take a look at Okay, all this is pretty much 100% fertility, so it doesn't really matter where we put our growing zones yet. Eventually, we'll uh, expand our growing zones out but and make them a bit better, but not yet. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, Supe, pick that up, and I just want to make sure I have the right ammo on the right people. Information. 45 calorie. Eight. Yeah. Okay, so, zone area, growing zones. We want a few growing zones, to be perfectly honest. Especially since this is going to be a cold area. Oh, that's getting a little bit. We'll do five by five. Oh, we should probably pause, actually, to set this up. I want... I'll keep that potato. We'll set this to corn. Yes, this is going to keep our growers very busy for a short time, but then it all kind of uh, balances out. We don't have anyone that can do heal root, but I'll go ahead and set that up so once that gets to uh, level 8, they'll go ahead and plant the heal root. I want a... Oh, no. I, I want cotton. Because we're going to need uh, some cl uh, warmer clothing. Let's see. I may have a couple too many here, but... We'll go ahead and set up 
a strawberry just because we can. I'd much rather have more food than I need, to be perfectly honest. You know, we'll get, do rice for some diversity. That's going to keep Tim out of trouble for a while. And that's more hauling. That's going to be the last of the food, I believe. I'm just doing a quick sweep, making sure that there's nothing else that I'm missing and I'm not seeing anything. Okay, let me just make sure I have... Okay, Tim is going to be growing. Why is he going between those? Let's go ahead and knock uh, Tim's construction down to two. Because I'd much rather have him uh, working on that. And Supe is idle. So, why are you, you do, do, did we already run out of all the wood? I guess we did. So let's go ahead and uh, create an order. I want to focus on clearing this. So yeah, well, we already burnt all the wood or we just didn't unforbid all of it, which is also a possibility. And our research is going along rather nicely. Matter of fact, I should put down a wooden filing cabinet right there. Unfortunately, Supe is the odd man out here. going to be sleeping on the ground for a night, but actually, Supe, why don't you work on that? Make your bed and then sleep in it. Oh, he's going to watch the sunrise. How romantic. Actually, I didn't oh, I was uh, wondering of our uh, gender diversity. Because <laughs> I didn't really pay attention to it. Okay, Tim's checking that out. What are you... I guess that's from uh, the bite score, the pain from it. So Tim is going to get back to uh, planting, or uh, doing our mass planting. And just taking a look at this, you could see, yeah, by the time he's done, he should, oh, he's about to get uh, level eight right now, which will be unlocking the uh, the heal route. So yeah, we're good there. We're continuing building out this. And we should also we'll let that continue on. Get a solar power. And I want to build a small a battery hut, really. So, mine there, and mine there, with a wooden door. So, our initial building is done, and we have this all set. Our grower took a day to uh, take care of that, but it's all set and ready to go. We're getting our wood supply up. So we should probably worry about uh, walling off. You 
Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay, I want you to. Oh, you're already building that. And let those call in at night. So that's going to increase our research speed slightly. Not a lot, but somewhat. And we have our uh, uh, batteries all set and ready to go. So we'll go ahead and put two in there for now. No, actually, I should just do this and cancel the other. I'll cancel that as well. That cat is uh, quite the thing, isn't it? Unfortunately, I can't assign the cat to Supe, but Sulfur uh, is just going to wander around and uh, be cat, uh, very cat-like. That's a hell of a name for a cat, by the way. Okay, and Supe is continuing to research. Okay, here is where things are a little bit different. I'll go ahead and pause this. I'm going to explain the hospitality mod, and then we'll wrap things up. And we haven't actually hit our town name yet, which I was hoping to do so. Okay, we have the chance now to recruit directly without having to go through the entire thing of uh, capturing someone and trying to uh, turn them as a prisoner. Now, the downside of this is that it still hurts the, the faction. In this case, the faction goodwill is 13. And if I tried to, if I successfully recruited this guy, it would uh, drop it by 35, turning this faction hostile. But it gives us a secondary way to uh, recruit people. And also, if we show them a good time when they're here, they have a chance to leave uh, things behind. In this case, uh, he'll likely be leave behind a little bit of silver and some pemmican. Uh... But we can also um, uh, try to improve the faction relationship and tr uh, try to get them more on our side to be able to recruit uh, someone from their faction later. <gasps> Tim and Litho are lovers. Oh. I hope that doesn't come to bite me in the ass later. So we'll go ahead and set up our second battery there. And that's really all we'll need for now. I also want to power conduit across there. Yes, I realize we need a meal source that's going to be next on the agenda. I think I'm going to build it over here uh, along with our crafting room. Oh, we have, oh, we've uh, run out of things to do already. Well, so we'll go ahead and set that up. Go ahead and set up the wall. Actually, we should probably start wrapping things up as I set up the wall. So we are still nameless on this town, which is a little bit surprising, but yo, know, I have paused a little bit. And also it's one of those things that, you know, the starting is always the slowest part. So wall there. Actually, I'm gonna wall further out so I could mine this steel without having to re-wall and wall there and is that a complete wall off? I believe so and what we'll do is set up the kitchen like right here oh and build the freezer into the mountainside because I tend to like it like that. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna put one there and one there. That'll keep people out of trouble for now. Oh, so 
as always, feedback is greatly appreciated, especially uh, on a reset of RimWorld or new series. Well, this is technically new. Yeah, well, it's new to you at least, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, and well, if you wish to join uh, this absolute madness that's going to happen eventually, I mean, it's always the uh, the start of the series is always the slow part. Things are going to get interesting fast, I think. Uh, then you could drop a comment down below or let me know on Twitter, GamingOCR, and I will add you to my name list. Uh, some people actually wanted to be here. I mean, Supe uh, wanted to be here, and unfortunately his name just hasn't turned up, so when I... Oh, and I should say on this uh, series, the people that have it turned up in the previous two um, that's on my name list have gotten priority. So they're in the top of the list. And we have some real winners coming up. Oh, see, that's uh, what I was talking about with the uh, hospitality mod. They, uh, that faction likes me a little bit more. But the downside of that is that if they get killed while on the map, they hate me a little bit more. So there's more opportunity for the faction to absolutely hate me. Oh, and we did get our name after all. So we'll uh, do that real quick. And looking at uh, the name list. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Let's go with. Oh. Since uh, Tim is here. Dutter Fort. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have a complete name list of uh, interesting and uh, unusual names. And yeah, Tim, this one's for you. Welcome to Nutter Fort. <laughs> Population three so far. So let's see. Um, uh, like I said, feedback is always appreciated. And if you wish to join this madness, uh, leave a comment below. And subscribe if you see more of Dutter Fort. <laughs> uh, uh, my other Let's Play series, my the Sunday Sampler, which who knows what shows up there eventually. Or uh, just, you know, the random content that appears occasionally on my channel as well. Because it is always interesting what I could come up with. As always, thank you for watching and... As we get our mad squirrel. Um, Tim, thank you. Yeah, I'll say thank you for watching, and we'll be back to Nutterfort next time. But until then, I'll see you.